Hello, in this video we're going to continue looking at properties of determinants. So let A be an n by n matrix and C be a non-zero scalar. So we've got four properties. The first property we'll look at is the determinant of C times A is equal to C to the nth power times the determinant of A. The determinant of A times B, where B is some matrix that you can multiply A by, is equal to the determinant of A times the determinant of B. The determinant of A transpose is equal to the determinant of A. And the determinant of A inverse is equal to 1 over the determinant of A, assuming that the inverse exists. And you might notice a nice connection here that if A is, the determinant of A is 0, then that probably implies that the inverse of A is not, um, doesn't exist. So let's just write that down. We will talk about that uh, in an upcoming video, but we'll mention it here. If the determinant of A is 0, that means uh, something very special about A. A is what we call a singular matrix. Um, the inverse does not exist. So in this video, we're just touching the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot more to dive into, especially with this last property. But for now, we just want to touch upon these properties, use them, and in future videos, we'll dig deeper into the theory and some connections. So let's look at an example. So let's let A be a 3 by 3 matrix. with the determinant equal to 2. Okay. So a couple of uh, problems here. Let's find the following. First of all, let's find the determinant of 4 times A. Next, let's find the determinant of A squared. Let's find the determinant of 3 times A transpose times A inverse. And that's probably good for now. OK, so the first one here says find the determinant of 4 times A. So using our properties to find above, this would be 4 cubed times the determinant of A. Okay, so 4 cubed, this is, let's see, 4 times 4 times 4, that's going to be 16 times 4, it's going to be 64, times the determinant of A, which is 2, so this would be 128. A squared, well, that's just the determinant of A times the determinant of A, so 2 times 2 gives us 4. And this last one here, let's, let's work it out in, in all the gory details, so we've got 3, cubed because these are 3 by 3 matrices that we're looking at. Next, let's look at A transpose times the determinant of A inverse. Well, let's see, 3 cubed is 27. The determinant of A transpose is equal to the determinant of A, and the determinant of A inverse is equal to 1 over the determinant of A. In other words, our final answer is just 27. 